All right, yesterday's Super Bowl between the Chiefs and Niners went down to the wire with excitement from big catches to, and runs to interceptions and a few missed calls. One guy watching intently was in the playoffs this year, beating the Eagles and then losing to the Packers. We welcome in Seahawks offensive lineman DJ Fluker. Thank you for being here. Appreciate thank it. You, thank you for having me. I know a lot of people are going to be wondering why you're actually here in Hawaii. We'll get to that in just a minute, but what do you think about the game? Um, it was a great game. I mean, uh, um, defense pretty uh, uh, defense like uh, play on uh, play well, and um, offense did did a pretty good job. I think um, the thing is is that came down to the to the team that that wanted it bad enough. Yeah, you know, but they play they play uh, pretty good. I thought the I thought the Niners kind of got away from what what did them so many uh, positive things throughout the game towards the end. I thought they just kind of got away from it. <laughs> you I know, thought if they ran the ball a couple times, they would have got the maybe a first down or two. You no, know, the thing the thing about it is, you know, I, the, before the game even started, my whole thing was about, you know, you, you got Jimmy, um, Jimmy Garoppolo. He, he's a pocket, he's a pocket passer. Yep. And you got you got um, uh, Patrick Mahomes. He he's definitely a scrambling quarterback. Mm -hmm. You know, the thing about it, if you get pressured up, if you get pressure on, pressure on Jimmy, he's going to kind of give it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. If you get if you get pressure pressure on pressure on Mahomes, now he's definitely not got in the pocket. He go, he's going to make plays. He's going to extend plays. You know, and and those are plays plays that plays like. Um, that you need like during that time and I think he did a great job with it. I thought Patrick uh, for a little while was off his game th under throwing. I thought towards the end he really showed uh, his poise and kind of fell into that groove again like he was really into it. I thought he did a pretty good job. He, he He's a poise guy you know I think you think about him he, he's young he's athletic and he's quick. <laughs> do, you, do you have any friends on any one of these teams? Um, Frank Clark well he's my former teammate uh, my former teammate in uh, 2018, we mm -hmm. played together. Great guy, you know. I, I was working hard, and he got him a ring. Now, you used to play on the defensive line. Do you know DeForest Buckner at all? He's a he's a local. Bo oh, local Buckner, boy, yeah. Boy. I, I played against him a little, a yeah. little bit uh, these these past couple of seasons. Now, mm -hmm. uh, he's a great player. He, very explosive. Um, young guy, still still have a lot to learn, but mm -hmm. he did a great job in the game. He showed up a little bit. Yeah, he had a couple of sacks. I thought uh, we were rooting for him, but uh, it was the Chiefs that came out in the end. Um, I, I, I want to know, uh, you've played in that stadium. I have. How was that? How's Hard Rock Stadium <laughs> to play in? It was great. It, it was a cool, cooler stadium. I mean, of course, when I played there, I was playing with the Chargers then. Right. And we, uh, we, we lost to the Dolphins uh, pretty bad. <laughs> but uh, the, thing, the thing was, it was a great stadium. Great, great atmosphere. It was really hot, though. Yeah. As a player, you don't really care about the halftime show, but because you were watching, what'd you think? I thought, I thought it was cool. I mean, I, it was, <laughs> you know, it, it was a great, it was a great show. I mean, I, it, it, uh, J Lo and his career, they put on a great act. I mean, yeah. that, that's just my opinion. I mean, um, when what it was a little, little more energetic, you know, that, that's yeah. what it's about. I mean, like, giving, giving people, let people, let people like, like what they want. The Latina feel was great. I thought J Lo needed to cover up a little bit, especially for the kids watching. But I thought it was good. I mean, for all of the rest of the adults world watching, I thought it was pretty good. What are you doing here? Uh, let's let everybody know what you're doing here, because the, the, Hawaii has been uh, a place for pro athletes to come and work out. Um, I'm not, we're actually uh, I'm out here for uh, for training, for officer training. I'm training with. Uh, what, what, what Hawaii Hawaii Optimum Performance? Mm -hmm. um, it, I reached out to him uh, during during the year, and it was like, hey, you should come out here, train, train a little bit, um, and check it out. And, and honestly, it's been going good. I started today, and we've been talking talking like talking like ever since, and I, I can't wait, honestly. How did you hear about it? Um, honestly, me and my me and my, me and my fiance, we've been trying to like find places to go, and mm -hmm. honestly, she she found it. She was like on Instagram, she was like, these guys go ahead and work out, and they and they have like. Like big results. Oh, one of my teammates, um, uh, Quentin Jefferson, he actually came out here, yeah. you know, worked out, and he did great. I, I, we, it's been a place that a lot of a lot of pro athletes, a lot of athletes in different uh, fields have come to work out. Michael Bennett's one of those guys that uh, that love working out there. Um, but you start today, you said you start working out sorry, today. Sorry today. I oh, can't wait. Man, oh man, I was going to ask you how it was going, but you'll find out, I guess, a little I'll later. I'll find out. I'll find a day. Well, give us an update because I would love for, I would love to have a, a, an update from a guy who's actually worked out. I know Manti Teo's worked out there, uh, M Michael Bennett, of course. So I'm sure I'm sure the the results are proven for for you to go down there. Oh yeah, I mean I, I've seen uh, I've seen those guys. Um, they do great. Um, the first Bergner, he worked out there. Right? Yeah. And yeah. I, I see him this season. I said he looked like a whole different type type of player this year. Yeah. And I was like, he's explosive. He's quick. You know, and, and just watching him now from, from the year before and watching mm -hmm. him um, this past year, he's a lot. He's a lot. He's a whole lot better. You know, I say, if it worked for him, obviously it's going to work for, 
work work for any um like anybody like anyone else. So mm -hmm. uh, let's let everybody know uh, what real quick. We have a few more moments. Um, what does an off season look like for you guys? Because it's not all vacations and plate <laughs> lunches. It's I mean it's hard work. You know, um, it's what for me. I work out six days a week, so th th that's my goal. Six days a week, rest on Sunday. Well, Sundays be my game day, but it's really, really, really kind of like my my recovery day. I uh, find time to uh, spend time with spend time like, like with the family, like spend time with the fam family like during the week. Mm -hmm. That's very important, obviously, because if, if, if you don't do that, you know everyone kind of little man, you know. But <laughs> so you want to keep everyone happy, you know, because they support you, and and that's very important. DJ, thank you so much for being here. Maybe we'll get you back on the on the show uh, after workouts. Oh, definitely. Well, good luck to you. We hope that it's um uh, it's a good off season uh, for you, and uh, definitely good luck with the Seahawks when you when you got to go back to camp. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right.